you're expecting or thinking about starting a family, you're probably wondering about maternity pay, and rightly so. As a mum of three, I can confirm it's an important part of the puzzle to put in place, and I'm off to meet my friends to see if they need any advice. Hello ladies, I see that you've started without me. Finally the expert, how are you? Oh, lovely thanks, apart from the fact that Molly is keeping me up half the night. Oh dear, the joys of being a mum. We were just talking about different types of maternity pay because Lucy here is self-employed and my brain's forgotten it all. Yeah, I just want to find out how it all works before we start talking about kids. All right, oh, well, thank you, thank you. Well, when I had George and when I had Lawrence, I worked at the garden centre. Um, so as an employee, I was entitled to statutory maternity pay. I had that, I think. They called it SMP. Yeah, that's right, and that would apply to both you two mums because you were long-term employees. Long-term meaning? Well, you have to have been with one employer for at least 26 weeks by 15 weeks before your due date. So counting back about 10 months before your due date? Yeah, exactly that. Or if you've been there for less time or you're self-employed like um, Lucy or like how I was when I had Molly, you might be eligible for maternity allowance. Oh gosh, it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> So what's the difference? I knew you were going to say that, so I have made you these printouts. <laughs> well, <laughs> my pleasure. There you go, there you go, Liz. Both types of maternity pay last 39 weeks. In the case of SMP, you'll receive 90% of your average weekly earnings for the first six weeks, and then the standard rate during the 33 weeks thereafter. In the case of MA, you work out average earnings during 13 weeks of your test period and you'll receive the standard rate for the whole of the 39 weeks. In both cases, the standard maternity rate is replaced by 90% of your weekly earnings if it's lower than the standard rate. So I'd actually receive more if I was a long-term employee? Yes, but by the time I had Molly, I was self-employed, so even though I got less maternity pay, I needed less childcare. And also, SMP is tax, whereas maternity allowance isn't, so you've got to weigh up the pros and cons, really. But listen, Jazz, have you told your boss yet? I haven't. I keep putting it off. Well, listen, don't worry. As long as you tell him at least 15 weeks by the start of the week of your due date, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, Jazz, I was really worried about telling my boss, but as soon as I did, poof, I felt better. Well, exactly that. I mean, have you decided when you want to take your leave? Well, sort of. I mean, I know you can take it from 11 weeks before your due date, but is it worth taking it that soon? Well, I took it really early with George, and to be honest with you, I found it so hard to get back into the swing of things after he was born. So when I had Lawrence and Molly, I took it as late as possible, and then I had loads of free time with them afterwards. I preferred it better that way too, and you delay your reduced income that way. I see what you're saying. So I just tell my boss? Well, no, you need to get your Mat B1 form from your midwife, which you'll get at your 20-week check. And then you just need to tell your employer what day you would like to take your leave. And then if you change your mind, you need to give 28 days notice in writing. Ah, lovely admin. <laughs> oh, yes, but think of the time off. Yeah, that's true. So I guess I just need to fill in a form for maternity allowance too, then? Well, that's right. You'll need the same Mat B1 form, and then you'll need to get the MA1 form, which you can either get online or from the Job Centre to Job Centre Plus to get your maternity allowance. In fact, I have some forms for you here. Thanks. You get this one. <gasps> that's great. Oh, that's what friends are for, isn't it? Right, that's enough serious talk. How are your pelvic floor exercises? <laughs> Claiming maternity pay isn't difficult and it's certainly good to know that help is out there. Remember, your individual circumstances may vary, so work out whether you're entitled to statutory maternity pay or maternity allowance. And maybe chat to a few other mums to help you decide when it's right to take your leave. If you plan ahead, you'll have control over when it starts, so it works for you and your family budget. Good luck.